So next problem is asked in 1997. This is for the five marks. So here the suspension system of a two wheeler can be equated to a single spring mass system. So two wheeler is equated to a single thing spring mass system with a viscous damper. We have a viscous damper also in the system and everything is connected in this series. So we need to sketch the free body diagram. So uh, let's see. So this is the man sitting on the two wheeler with a mass m and uh, this is the suspension system of the you know the two wheeler and uh, this is in turn you know connected to the damper in series damper in the series and uh, everything is you know resting on the ground so this is the ground so this is everything is resting on the ground so this is a system this is a k and this is a c so we have already seen the same type of this is nothing but a simply this is nothing but a, um, you know a sim, uh, simple system so we we need to you know derive the equation of motion for this one so let's say i have a given because of its movement automatically the, some initial velocity is or displacement is given to this one and this is a moving in this direction so let's say with a you no know, uh, displacement x so if i take mass m here in the equilibrium position case so in the equilibrium position what happens this is k into delta k into delta delta is the initial displacement would equal to the m into g so here k into delta equal to m into g so we can neglect delta and g terms in the final final case so here when i when the you know uh, motorcycle is you know um, given some initial displacement x then this is so at this instant let's take this is let's take that this is a coming downward direction so the inertia force acting in the downward direction is m into x double dot and uh, when it try to come downward the spring force is upward opposing so this is uh, in the upward direction k into x and at the same time this uh, damper also opposing the motion downward motion so that is also acting in the upward direction that is a c into x dot so if i write the motion equation of motion this is a exactly same one whichever we already seen so m into x double dot equal to f but here x double dot is in the downward direction and the f in the upward direction so we will get the negative sign for the spring force and as well as for the damping force so this is the one and uh, this is can be written as this one finally and uh, here uh, this is a standard equation and uh, again from here we need to find out damping coefficient critical damping coefficient we need to find out critical damping coefficient c into c that equal to 2 into square root of m into k and uh, here m has given uh, 50 kg and uh, k has given a uh, 35 kilo newton don't forget the kilo so here yeah, this is a 2 into 50 into 35 into 10 power 3 then you will get a 2.645 kilo newton second per meter and uh, what can be the damping force for a plunger velocity of 0 0.05 meter second what is the plunger here the plunger is inside the damper so the plunger is nothing but the you know uh, piston type of arrangement so when it is trying to come down the plunger is having a downward downward uh, movement so because of that movement it, it is having some velocity initial velocity 0 0.05 meter per second in the downward direction and the fluid inside this damper is trying to oppose that motion so he has given the velocity of the plunger so what is the damping force that is acting in the upward direction so that is f equal to c into x dot so x dot is given under c we need to find out so yeah but he has given at this instant where the c becomes a cc or when we consider c as a critically damping coefficient so in that case we can directly substitute this value so this is a 2.645 into 0 0.05 
So after simplification, we will get a 132.29 Newton.